Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Hey, listen, we're gonna continue on with the conversation about how Eptera is actually gonna change the status quo and how GM has actually dropped the ball on what they had, the EV1. So let's uh, get back into this in part two. Let's go. All right, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we welcome you. Glad to have you. And if you're old here and coming back uh, as a patron, I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for coming back and checking out my video. Uh, of course, I, I appreciate everybody that's watching this video and we're just trying to help spread the word about that terror. But um, talking about the General Motors EV1, how they actually had the car that was ahead of its time, a car of the future, the EV that they were bringing about to get away from ICE vehicles, internal combustible engine vehicles, and how they literally just shot themselves in the foot and taking the EVs that they came out with and they destroyed all their EVs except for maybe a handful of them. And then came Toyota. They stepped in with their hybrid vehicle, hybrid gas and battery powered vehicle, which actually the range on it was very good. You get up to the first ones was 41 miles per gallon. Uh, in a world where the average auto was getting just 20 miles per gallon. Uh, but nowadays it gets up to, I think, uh, 51, 53, somewhere around there. Can't remember. But anyway, we are going to talk about the company that really took over, which was Tesla. And they came out with uh, several vehicles, battery powered vehicles, which just goes to show that the world wanted change. They wanted to change the status quo. And Tesla actually did that. So they started out with their roaster model, this two seater that could get up to 250 miles of range, um, which sold pretty good. Uh, they came out with the Model S, the Savan version, and this did even better. And right now, it, it gets uh, the most mileage in the Tesla family. Uh, but uh, that one and the Model X, which also gets very good range, which the Model S is more like an SUV version. Uh, but then they came out with the Model 3, and this is uh, was its most popular vehicle for a while. Uh, and then, of course, they came out with the Model Y. What's so impressive about the Model Y which is a uh, more affordable vehicle that Tesla came out with is actually a sort of SUV as well. Uh, but right now it's the most selling vehicle in the world. So Tesla is doing really good with their vehicles that they came out with. They've actually changed the status quo, but now we're going to talk about Aptera and what they are doing or getting ready to do. So what does Aptera bring to the table? Aptera, they're doing the impossible. They're doing something no other automaker had the guts to do or are brave enough to do. They are harnessing the power of the sun and being able to use the vehicle off grid because Aptera was created from the ground up with one purpose in mind, energy efficiency. That unique shape that they have, which is shaped like either a dolphin or a shark, it lets it slide through the air just using 30% of the energy compared to other electric and hybrid vehicles on the road today. The vehicle will allow you to go up to a thousand miles on a single charge, which is very impressive. No other vehicle can claim that and it's going to be a while before they can claim that. The Aptera also, since it uses less amount of power, can allow each individual who buys one to stop adding 14,000 pounds of CO2 per year. 
So they can reduce their carbon footprint by that much every year by driving their Aptera. Why? Because they have solar power panels on the vehicle itself that allows you to get up to 40 miles of range a day. And so Aptera is bringing a lot to the electric vehicle industry. This innovation is so unique that nobody else could do it, like I said. And Aptera is redefining the ways vehicles are designed and built. They are actually having their vehicle made out of carbon fiber, which the CPC out of uh, Italy are the one that's actually going to be printing their, their panels together and shipping them to California so that Aptera can be put together in a nice, easy, step-by-step -step fashion. Like putting Legos together, they'll be able to put the Aptera together so fast that it will be able to produce 40 vehicles a shift. Uh, the trunk size is basically 32 cubic feet, and that's larger than most vehicles, especially two passenger vehicles uh, on the road today. It's so much space that you can actually use it to camp with and put all your material in the back of the Aptera for use for camping and other things. The carbon fiber technology that they're using is uh, about seven times stronger than steel. So Aptera is also basically relatively safe for anybody who rides in it. And the solar panels that come with it, they can be easily replaced, easily interchangeable. And why is that important? Because we know that as solar panel efficiency advance over the years, that you can easily interchange that and your solar panels will provide more power to the battery pack over time when you replace them. So Aptera, what they're doing, this is innovation at its best. They're bringing so much to the table and I didn't even talk about the skin cooling that they have where they're running the, the coolant through the skin of the body of the vehicle and using that to keep the motor cool and the battery pack cool as well as the interior cabin cool. But it also can keep the interior of the cabin heated and heat up the battery pack as needed. So they're doing some very innovative things. So Aptera is also allowing the right to repair. They can actually help you if something is damaged in the vehicle. They can show you the parts that you need and they can ship the parts to you. They can also show you how to fix it. And they'll have a diagram to show you where the part goes at since all the parts are numbered. So Aptera is doing so much to where you as the consumer can benefit in such a way that no other automaker can even help you with. Uh, right now, we know that the um, auto industry through their repair system, um, in a sense, you could sort of sh sort of say that's, that's even a ripoff. Not to mention that, um, if you take it to a dealership to fix your vehicle, you never know what they're doing under the hood since you trust them to fix what's broken. Uh, they could actually break something else so that you would have to come back to them to fix, fi have that fixed. So either way, you're going to end up spending a lot of money. But Aptera is doing so much to really help you as the consumer to save so much money and put trust in their company that the price tag on the Aptera is even much lower than one would expect for a vehicle of this sort. It starts off at $26,000 for the 250 mile range version, but you can even um, get up to, like I said, a thousand mile range on this. And so Aptera is bringing a lot to the table. And once again, even though, you know, they're just starting out, we know that they're going to come out with more than just a two-seater, but right now, this is the vehicle that they have to start out with. So what do you think? Give me your thoughts on this. Do you think Aptera is really going to take off? 
I know that for Tesla, it took them, they came out in 2008 with their roaster. 2010, they came out with the Model S. So about 15 years later, we can see that they're on top of the world. Is it going to take Aptera that long to really get noticed to like Tesla did to really get on top of the world? We don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But I believe that Aptera is really going to catch the legacy automakers off guard. But a lot of these other companies that are doing battery powered vehicles, they're going to be caught off guard as well because a lot of people are going to want the solar powered vehicle and not just a battery powered vehicle. Because the other problem is uh, we know they have to get the infrastructure set up for the electricity uh, charging stations to be set up for everybody to use. And as everybody transition to electric vehicles, not everybody's going to be able to have the opportunity to travel as much as they want because most of those charging stations are going to be slap full and you have to wait in line to get charged up. Um, of course, with Aptera, if you're going to travel in it long distance, you're going to end up in that situation as well. But we know that they're trying to go electric and we know that uh, over time, as uh, Tesla got better, we know Aptera is going to get better too because not only are the solar panels and the battery pack and the motors, they're all going to get more efficient. So Aptera is going to continue to get better over time and make it much better for their users or their, their buyers to um, really enjoy their vehicle as they continue to upgrade them over time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe if you're new here. And to my patrons, let me give a great shout out. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate you. And please continue to support my channel. I'm going to keep coming out. But very good things are going to start happening with that terror very soon, probably next month. We ought to be getting a lot of really good news. So stay tuned. You guys take care. You have a good day. And we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.